this is my review for The Partner by John Grisham. Let's begin. So, non-spoilers first. I really love this book. This book was amazing. It was done really well. Um, the strongest aspect of this book is the tension that it builds. I mean, there is incredible tension built right in the beginning because you don't know what's going on other than a bit of information about this person, this lawyer who faked his own death and left with $90 million and they catch up to him. And the story begins from that point on. And since the beginning, man, you, there's just this mystery and this tension that keeps getting built. Um, and it, it takes the entirety of the book to unravel them all. And that keeps you hooked. That keeps you hooked for the next chapter. There was always a nugget left in the chapter I read for me to keep going to the next one. And to me, that that is kind of what you need the most. Second, really, really well done thing about this book is the main character. Patrick Flanagan, I think, that's a lawyer who ran away with 90 million dollars is a is both an unsympathetic but also sympathetic protagonist based on the the time in the book because in the beginning you really don't care much for him but later on when you start getting more and more of his insights you start caring and you still aren't sure by the end of it that if he's a good guy or a bad guy but at the but the, in the end of the day you still back him and i think that's also another really strong point of this this novel making sure you care about the main character. Now, the one weak point I will say is that there's certain other side characters that I do not think are fleshed out as well. And some of their motivations just don't seem um, right at certain points in the novel, specifically the ending. I will say the ending can be a little disappointing. I do feel that there is a, I don't mind the ending. I do think that John Grisham had a interesting idea of how to finish it off. But the only problem was that there just wasn't enough foundational material in the book to justify that ending. It just didn't feel like enough information was given about certain characters to justify what occurred later on. You can make certain theories and I think that was his intention. His intention ultimately was to make sure that, hey, you know, this, in this ending is not... It this is not fantasy, you know, not everything is going to work out and there are some realist, realistic uh, stakes here. And I think he did a great job of showcasing that. It's just, you do feel like, why did this happen? You know, and, and what does it mean? Maybe that was his intention, but to me, I felt like it was lacking. And I also was looking uh, at other people's reviews because I kind of wanted to get into my insight. And I think other people also agreed with that. There was just this, there was something off about it. I'll get to more of it in the spoiler section, but there was something off about it. So that's one of the one of the uh, negatives that I will say. Another negative I will say is that the, there is a bunch of characters. I can name almost uh, 10 right now. Patrick Lanigan, Trudy, Lance, Ava, Sandy, Guy, um, Ashley Nicole, Benny Arcia, Pepper. There's so many, Carl, Parrish, there's just so many characters that are dropped in and most of most of them there's a few that get dropped in later but most of them get dropped in the first three to four chapters that's a lot of characters to keep track of and i honestly lost complete understanding of certain characters of who which side they were on until later on in the story when they did something or said something that kind of connected to the story so because this is kind of a heist but in reverse where this heist was already done and you you're the author's unraveling the mystery of how it happened and what happened um, to related to what's going to occur now because Patrick is essentially captured and he has to figure out how to possibly get out of the situation while the FBI, while these other people who he stole money from are getting going after him. So there is this very powerful tension that's built into the story, but there's just so many characters that are introduced from different moments that it inflates the story a lot and it kind of gets confusing. I do think if you stick to the story if you keep reading it eventually does pay off of what what these characters are and what they did it's just in the beginning though you will feel pretty lost and i do think that's a negative because some people may not understand that and they might stop reading you know you, you can kind of feel sometimes it could be a, a barrier for people to um, go further so that's another negative. Now there is a negative that I also read that I don't agree with based on uh, another person's review. I just didn't agree with that. And that was, uh, they were talking about how there was just too much um, details and and uh, more 
it was more conversational and and setting oriented and not really focusing on like the action and stuff like that and i'm like yeah it, that's the whole point this is not a it's not an action novel the action already happened that was the heist that was what patrick did you know how he stole the money it's the unraveling of those mysteries it's a mystery suspenseful kind of illegal thriller that's the whole point of like how is he going to get out of this is the the hook into the story and it's not about you know him fighting or planes crashing or, or you know guns and stuff no it's very um partially psychological partially you know in the system of law and partially just what had occurred and i think it's it's really well done it holds attention really well i didn't need action in this i don't think this novel is about that so if you're looking for something like that this this novel probably is not for you but if you're looking for a nice fun um and an exciting kind of a legal thriller that kind of holds attention and has a main character that you find intriguing and interesting this is the one for you this book is really well done in that way so that's my non-spoiler review for john grisham's the partner check it out i think it's a really well done book um, and i have the link down below to get it if you like now the spoilers just so you know i'm spoiling now I'm spoiling some certain things. I'm not going to give in all the details. But before I do that, please like and subscribe this video. And let me know if there's any books that you want to, for me to read. Because I have, quite a, I have quite a big list. But I'm trying to do one fiction, one nonfiction. And I have a lot of nonfiction books. Because that's what I always read that I have on my list. But I don't have too many fictional books. So I'm slowly bringing them in. And this is my first fictional book that I've read in a long time. And I really enjoyed it. So I want to do the next book I'm going to review is definitely the nonfiction one. That I already planned it out. But past that, you know, if there's certain ideas that certain people have for me to review. Uh, for me to read and review. I would down to do it just comment down below and let me know all right so spoiler section here all right so cover your ears close this video if this is not for you because it is what it is i'm going to be spoiling certain things again i don't want to give too much away because i want people to read the book and it's not fair to the author for me to just start spilling all the beans but i will be spilling certain beans and it is what it is okay so the first i would say three to four chapters you will feel it's a lot about other characters kind of tracking down Patrick and you it takes time it takes time to kind of build up to the point where you really get into the head of Patrick because uh, one of the quotes that really stood out to me that made me care about Patrick um, didn't happen in the beginning it was it's kind of like a quarter in when he gets captured when he's tortured when everything happens to him and I feel bad in that way but I still there's nothing to for me to give a crap about this character he stole money and ran right so what is who is he? Why does it matter? Um, and you still don't get full, all of that information till later. It takes time, right? It's, it's really well done in terms of unra unraveling the story. But there's a point in the hospital when he's uh, talking to his doctor and he says, I'm going to quote here, Patrick was certainly willing to do so. Sleep is impossible, he said. Maybe an hour at most before I hear voices. Then I smell my flesh burning. Then I wake up in a pool of sweat and it's not getting better. I'm here now. Home and safe, I guess. But they're still out there, still after me. I can't sleep. I don't want to sleep, Doc. And when I read that, that's his lines, his quote, um, his thoughts. This is where it hit me that I care about this character. It made Patrick sympathetic. He went through torture. He went through this horrible time and it's still affecting him. And Patrick, um, before that, Again, you don't get to hear much about him, but you get to hear, you get to see that he's already planned for situations like this because he has his, his partner, his lover named Ava, who um, already talks to the FBI because there was a system that Patrick has set up. But if he's captured, he doesn't, you know, return a phone call or something. She needs to do it. Like it's, he's very smart. Patrick is very smart and he planned his stuff out and you get to kind of unravel all of that over the course of the book and it's done pretty well. I really liked how everything was done and how he was, uh, how smart he is. But what I really enjoyed was that this showed that he wasn't um, unstoppable. He's not unbeatable. There is fear and 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 worry and and uh, nightmares and PTSD that he's dealing with, and he's he doesn't he doesn't want to go to prison. That's another part of the book that uh, he doesn't want to go to prison. He really wants to fight against that and, and just make sure that he stays in the hospital because he doesn't feel like he can survive in prison. 
that to me, there's these vulnerabilities that you give to the main character really makes him li like interested, likable, and I liked him. I liked Patrick. I don't think he's a good or a bad guy. I think uh, I think he does both. But at the end of the day, I liked him and I cared about him, and that is integral to this to a novel because you're following his story, right? And how, will he or will he not get away with if? John Grisham, the author, did not nail this character down and made him interesting. I wouldn't care about what ultimately is the biggest point of the story, which is can Patrick get away with this? You know, he's in FBI's after him. So many people are after him. And can he get away with this? And if you don't care about the character, you don't give a shit if he gets away. So to me, that was so, so integral and it was done really well. But at the same time, there is some negatives. I did not think Ava was... Um, showcase as well as Patrick and there's another character Sandy who helps out Patrick and he's kind of the, another secondary uh, protagonist I would say in a way and I liked his character quite a bit because there are aspects to his personality that's given by his conversations with Patrick and whether it's uh, sometimes it's annoyance sometimes it's friendship sometimes it's uh, just butt heads and and you kind of get the perspective of Sandy over the course of the story and I liked him too so I think he was well de developed too it wasn't just the idea that because he's not because Patrick's the main character he has the most development I think Sandy was very likable and interesting Ava to me though was the one where I think it had to do with the fact that she had to be alone because she was on the run with the money. She had to be alone most of the time that she didn't get as much interactions. Maybe it was that. But I just felt like I just did not care for her as much other than she liked Patrick. Like there was no real moments as to why she loves him other than they fell in love. She There's no real moments as to what her ideals are. Um, she's just this person who's helping him out and this this leads to the 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 ending of the book and the, why I have a big issue with it and why I think many people do there's just there's just something lacking with her and this leads to um, this conclusion where she something occurs I'm gonna get to it in this in a second i'm gonna just get through some of the characters so sandy was very uh very interesting too he helps out patrick uh the the biggest villains quote unquote i would say is benny or uh benny i cannot say his last name rec or whatever the case may be um he's the guy who's whose money was stolen the 90 million dollars there are the four partners that had Pat, that hired Patrick because Patrick used to be a lawyer into this firm and they're the ones who were dealing with the money but then he faked his death and left with the money so those four lawyers also are kind of the villains and they're also they also hate him and then there's also the Stefano who is hired by Benny to go find Patrick and he's kind of more about the job and also of course making money and those are the main um, kind of the villains or, or not. And I would say also to a degree, a Trudy and Lance who were, Trudy was uh, uh, Patrick's pre previous wife, but they had issues and she cheated on him and all that. So nothing, um, nothing to really care about in terms of them other than they're good obstacles for Patrick to overcome. And that's kind of what I really liked was that all of these people were obstacles. They were villains, but there was no main overarching villain. It was just little, obstacles that Patrick had to maneuver around and that made the story even more interesting because there was this you know Trudy wants to sue him you know uh, Benny wants his money Stefano wants to torture him or Ava you know there's there's so many threats on Patrick and and that builds up the tension and Patrick has to maneuver through each one over the course of this uh the story which again done pretty well I like that so there's characters, then there's side characters that don't have as much in, in terms of uh, personality, but they're integral to the stories and they get revealed over the course of the time. Um, like Clovis, that was really, really, really well done. I really like Pepper as well, but they're, they're these characters who um, are integral for Patrick's defense and integral for Patrick to um, showcase that, you know, why he did what he did and how he can possibly get away with it. So I really like that. Um, I really liked the tension that was built over the course of the time because, you know, it's just it, the odds for Patrick to make make it out of this without going to jail for murder for, um, you know, or getting hurt or killed by other people. It's, there's just so many odds that are stacked against him and he still is like working through them each and every one and he's very smart and capable with that. So I really like that. I really like smart characters. Um, and so um, just the author did a great job with that. I really like that. 
And so the story's done really well. The um, the characters, generally speaking, are done well, other than a few things. Um, and lastly, what I really, really liked, and this is something that I disagree with uh, the other people, was just the safe stage setting and the loss, the system of law, and the how indictments work and how uh, how the prosecution works and how the entire trial system works, the kind of the prep of that and how to make sure the evidence comes in correctly, and all of that is kind of defined really well with these characters. And to me, that's that's really interesting because I haven't read too many. Or watch too many legal thrillers. I mean, I've watched legal shows, but not legal thrillers. And this was really interesting to see that kind of unfold. This mystery slash thriller, I would say. Um, so I really like that as well. So this the the details that Grisham put into the world was done pretty well too. I just wish that he put that a bit more in certain characters. And now I'm gonna go into some really really heavy spoilers. Okay, at near the end of the novel. You know, through all the dope things that uh, Patrick does to kind of get to the point where he uh, he can be free, he essentially has made the deal with the government, everything to return the money, and he's going to have some money left over, and he wants to just basically have this happy ending with uh, with Ava and kind of you know live the rest of their life together. Except that he doesn't find her; she's missing. And there's moments where you wonder what exactly occurred. It, it, it ends with him being alone and hoping that, you know, she will find him. And there's a degree of realism in the sense that there's not a happy ending, which I really liked. But at the same time, I felt confused as to what occurred to her. Was she captured by Stefano? Um, or was she, did she leave with the money? Because there were slight hints on either of those, but they just weren't good enough. Uh, there were slight hints of Ava feeling upset that she was in the prison, she was in prison, and she called herself wealthy. Um, but besides that, like Stefano was kind of putting up this whole Judas thing on her, where she essentially had, when Patrick was still missing, had helped uh, Stefano kind of narrow down to where Patrick is up to the the con uh, the country Brazil you know the whole idea was like you know she planned that and she made money off of that but that was Patrick's plan it was explained later on it was hinted at least that Patrick wanted to get caught so that he could finally truly be free um, so Ava helped with that so there was just not enough um, if she had left him with the money with some of the money that was left over there's just not enough in the book for me to believe it for me to really reasonably believe that that she was she that's what she did or vice versa if stefano found her because he's been trying to find her um so he can you know get the information on the money and he just hasn't been able to because she's really good at hiding so there's just not information for me to be like oh maybe stefano found her and now he's torturing her for the money is that a possibility i don't know maybe that's the problem with the ending the ending gives this whole thing of where ava's gone uh, with some of the money and Patrick's all by himself and he's hoping that she comes back but there is just not you know did she run with the money was she captured there's nothing like that given and I don't get me wrong I love a mysterious ending that is not you know hiding a bow I like that I like the fact that it's realistic like that but I just don't know if anything if what had occurred is justified if Ava left with the money so there's two possible scenarios. Ava left with the money. Why? You know, there's just there's there's nothing in the story that I felt like oh she's gonna leave with the money. Um, if Stefano found her, how? Because this whole time he didn't. What exactly occurred? He maybe Patrick made that one phone call on the cell phone and that gave like that maybe got her caught. But I don't even know how that's possible. That may or may not have happened. Again, it's just it's too blurry. You know. So whether she got caught, whether she ran with money or just plain died, we just don't know. And I see where the, where the author was going with. I, I see where Grisham was going with. And it's not a bad idea. It's just I felt like it was missing very key points, maybe just a little bit more in details given in early in the book. This is why I wanted Ava's personality to be a bit more bit more showcased, because, again, I just did not know what she was about fully other than being loyal but apparently she's not loyal or she got captured so to me that that kind of made the ending not as satisfying and other people i think agree with me here on that but i, I would i would say other than that other than that part right there 
I think the whole book was done well. It was paced really well. It was tension filled. It made you it made you care about the main character, and it made you really interested in how he will accomplish what uh, uh, to get to survive all of this, and also how he actually did the the heist, right? How he faked his death and stole all that money. So all of that ties up really well. It's just that part and I think it was just had to do with uh, the author not spending enough time detailing out all those characters uh, maybe make the book a bit longer but give us a bit more backstory to some of these characters because you're giving a lot to Patrick and I understand he's a main character but if these other characters have vital moments here let's give them a little bit more room you know and don't get me wrong Grisham does that to many characters but I do feel like he lacked that in Ava and Ava was so integral to the last part too. I mean, she was integral to the whole story, but at the last part, it was so important about her. I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what this means. And I'm, I would have been fine with the ending either way if just a little bit more details were given beforehand for me to be like, oh shit, she ran with the money. That's crazy. Or dang, she she got captured and now she's being tortured. That's like, that would have gotten me more interested and I would have been like, this ending is amazing. But because of that, unfortunately, I cannot give it um, a classy restaurant i don't i don't see it at that i think this is a um this is, this is a nice little family owned little restaurant like a little thing but i don't think it's classy i don't think it's michelin stars uh unfortunately this book to me while it's a great ride while it's very entertaining there is these vital moments where i'm like damn kind of drop the ball and especially when it's the ending and you drop the ball that kind of sucks but overall i still give it a strong recommendation in terms of reading i think it's really well done and i think pe people will enjoy it so please check it out read the book and comment down below of what you think of the story and what do you think of the ending and please write down spoilers um if you're going to give out some details because again i think people should read it i think uh every book should be read and it's a respect to the author to be able to do that so other than that you guys take it easy till next time